Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the sheet metal tool to create a spatula in Autodesk Fusion 360. Let's get started. The first thing to do is to come over here to the sheet metal tab. Once you click on it, come down to sheet metal rules. And under sheet metal rules, you're going to be greeted by a bunch of different materials that you can use. So if I click on the arrow for one of these materials, you're going to see a preset thickness, K factor, um, bend conditions, and etc. If you need to change any of these for any reason, because either you, your vendor told you to, or your own factory has a certain set of uh, parameters for a specific material, you can come over to Edit Rule, and you can change all of those parameters from right here. Now, if you don't need to do that, what you can do is you can just uh, select this as your default material. So let's say I want to set steel in inches as my default material. What I have to do is right click, I'm sorry I already have that selected, right click and click on set as default. So all you have to do is set as default and that's going to set that material as a default material in your sheet metal workspace. With steel selected, what we're going to do is Actually, let's make it stainless steel, set as default. Close this. What you want to do is come over to your um, origin planes right here. And what we want to do is select the YZ plane, which is on the right. And we're going to create a sketch on this plane. And I'm going to drag out a line here that begins at the origin. And I want this to come out uh, 7.5, so I'm going to set a dimension here. 7.5 inches and I'm going to create a couple more lines now and I want the distance between this line and this line I'm sorry the angle to be 30 degrees and I want the the uh, distance to be about one inch on this line and for this one I want it to be one inch as well so I'm gonna link them now with that created um, what we want to do is we want to finish our sketch. We're going to come over here to create flange and just click on the line and you're going to see that it selects all of them because chaining is on. And over here what you can do is you can select direction symmetric so that so that way when we do this sort of flange extrusion it's going to come out on both sides and I'm just going to drag this arrow out and I'm going to make it point, um, let's say about 0.25 for the uh, thickness there. And actually, uh, let's go up to, um, to about a half inch. So I'm going to make this 0.5, sorry about that, 0.5 inches. And that's going to add a little bit more thickness to this uh, part right here. And with that said, what we want to do is I'm going to look at this from the, from the side and you're going to see that if I change the thickness from side one to side two, you're going to see that the thickness jumps from the top of the line to the bottom of the line. So side one, side two, but if I change this to be symmetric, which is what we want to leave it on, then it's going to be right in the middle. And that's what we want. That's going to be the easiest one to work with. So with everything set up like this and with our sheet metal rule set up to be steel in stainless steel in inches, we're just going to hit OK. And now we've created our first flange, which is what we need. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to rotate this a little bit. And we want to uh, create another uh, sheet metal flange. So I'm going to click on this face. And I'm going to create a sketch. And on this face, what I want to do is I want to create a line. And I'm just going to kind of drag this uh, from about here to here. And I want to make the distance about, uh, let's say, three and a quarter. So 3.25. And what we can do from here is I can create a line that starts from the middle of the line and drag it to the origin. And that's going to 
if the, as long as this is vertical, it's going to sit where I want it to. So click on the line, make a construction. And if you need any more review with sketches, I have a great um, beginner tutorial to Fusion 360 where I explain all of these different constraints and all these things that I'm working with right now. So that's going to be our sort of baseline. Now I'm actually going to bring this all the way into about here. And at this point, I can actually click on this point and click on this line and I can make them coincident. And I'm going to make this line construction. That way I can drag out from the create tab. I can drag out, let's say an arc, three point arc. And I can just drag it out here. And I'm going to click on the arc, click on the line, make them tangent to each other. And I can set these two points to be horizontal with each other. I can just kind of drag them like this. And I'm going to set it to um, a dimension of about a quarter inch. So I'm just going to set a dimension here between these two lines. The point in the line about a quarter about a quarter inch, 0.25. That's, that's about where we want it to be. And you want to make these two points vertical with each other. And from here, uh, it definitely becomes uh, much easier. What we want to do is we want to create a box that's about 4.75. So, um, oh, we, we, I'm sorry, we want to make these two points vertical as well. Okay, great. Now let's drag out two lines and they're going to be about 0.475. I mean, uh, 4.75. And with them dragged out to about here, what we can do is we can build on this. So I can come to my create tab and drag out an arc that's a three-point arc and place it about here and I can kind of create um, I can start building my shape out of this and I can make these two lines um, tangent and again if you need um, more instruction on sketches I have another tutorial for that I know I'm going a little bit fast here with that um, it's because I assume that the that the viewer has seen that I'm gonna make this hor horizontal and drag this point all the way here to the end and if I drag this in then that's going to aid me so I'm gonna drag it into say about about here and with this created I can drag this point all the way back and I can make this construction because it's not part of our um, whole thing right here so um, from here I'm just gonna finish my sketch and I can come to create flange and select both of these. And I'm basically extruding upward because if I select side two, it's going to extrude down into my other flange. We don't want that. I also don't want it to be symmetric because then it's interfering with my other flange. So um, I'm just going to set this to be side one. That's what we want. And I'm going to hit OK. And it's a new body. Uh, with that created, we can now add a couple necessary fillets here. I want to create a fillet here right on this toe. And this is going to be sort of a large one. It's going to be about there, uh, about a half inch. It doesn't have to be perfect, but about a half inch. And same thing with the other ones. We want to have a couple fillets here on this side, as well as on this side. And on this end as well. And we want to drag this in. And you, you can kind of have fun with it. Um, you can see that the shape actually fails if you go a little bit too much. So you want to be a little bit conservative with it. Um, we're going to leave it at about here. I would say 0.425 is probably perfect. And now um, we're almost there, I promise. Um, what we want to do is we want to come to our 
create a sketch. We want to click on his face and we want to create a sketch. And I'm going to, um, basically, I'm going to come to the display settings. And under visual style, I want to make it wireframe with hidden edges. That way I could see through my part. Come to create, come to point, and create two points here. And you want these to be vertical, and you also want them to be vertical with the origin. And you can finish that, and you can come to whole and click on these two points. And from here, uh, we're going to leave it at about 0.1 inches. If I rotate this to the back, um, I want to cut through both of these objects. So under objects to cut, both of them need to be selected. And I'm cutting through both of them, so I'm going to hit OK. And we can change our visual style back to our shaded. And that pretty much is going to give us uh, what we want. Um, shaded with visible, visible edges. So uh, that's going to give us what we want. And we can always make edits and modifications if necessary to our geometry, but um, we want to basically uh, leave it at this. And from here, what we want to do is we want to create our handle design. So I'm going to um, I'm going to make a change to the um, thickness of the handle. So uh, like I said, it's very easy to make edits. Um, instead of 0.5, I can, I, I can make this a, qu a quarter inch as long as the uh, part solves. So I'm going to make this 0.25 and hit OK. And you're going to see that that works. Um, I can also continue to add fillets. So um, if we want to add a fillet here to the bottom edge, what I can do is I can just roll this back and just add a couple fillets, add a fillet here, fill it here, and just kind of drag it in. That's going to be a, a more uh, professional appearance there. So we have our uh, spatula made in terms of sheet metal, but we also need to add the handle to it. So what we want to do next is add a couple holes to the handle. Let's rotate here to the top. And we're going to create a sketch here on this face with a couple of points. So let's add a few points here. And we're going to make them vertical with each other as well as vertical with the origin. And we can kind of drag them out a little bit. And I'm going to finish the sketch, come to create, hole, and you just have to select these two points. And all you have to do is cut downward through the sheet metal. And once you do, uh, just hit OK. And that's going to finish your cut through the handle. And so from here, we're going to come to fill it. And we're going to um, click on these two points. And we're going to drag in to give it a sort of nice rounded shape there at the end. And we can rotate to the top uh, so we can see this a little bit better. But this uh, fillet is very important because this fillet is going to determine the end shape of our handle. So what I want to do um, here is I want to create one last hole. So I'm going to create a sketch. And this time I'm going to offset this um, angle right here. And I can flip it inward and make it about, um, let's say about a hundred thousandths or so in. And we can just hit OK. And I'm going to delete these supplementary lines because um, we don't need them. Uh, what we do need is to finish off the shape. Um, we can kind of add a dimension here so I can add a dimension between these two arcs and make them point one that way they stay like that and now I can kind of rotate these two points freely 
and I can create basically uh, two lines and these lines are going to be tangent with the arcs and let's create another one of those right here whoops got a little messed up there um, let's create another two so uh, these two are going to be tangent as well and let's do the same thing I'm going to come to create arc three-point arc and between these two we're going to set these to be tangent to each other so here we have our nice little shape and I want these two to be vertical and these need to be tangent for sure so from here you can kind of mess around with your shape but uh, we're gonna leave it at about that I'm gonna finish my sketch and I can come to extrude and you just have to click on that shape and we want to cut down through the material and I'm just gonna kinda of leave it at, at this um, these defaults so that's our nice little cut there alright great so from here let's come to our solid and what we're gonna do is create a sketch on this face now we're in the solid tab so we're out of the sheet metal tab we're now in the solid tab um, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this face, come to create, and we want to come down to project, project that sketch. So click on this and just project everything. And when you project everything, you're going to see all these lines showing up, and that, that's what you want because that's, that's the, the projection. So um, what I can do is I can come back into that sketch that I just made, come to create and let's go to arc three-point arc we're gonna make a little three-point arc here and so that's gonna be basically our handle design um, what I want to do from here is I want to finish my sketch and I want to come to extrude and I'm gonna click on the that profile that I just created and like I said before, if you're having trouble with uh, your sketches, uh, be sure to check out my training series on the basics of Fusion 360. That's very important uh, to understand this. So uh, we want this to be basically a new body. And when we extrude it up, we're just going to hit OK. And I'm going to set a fillet here on the outside. And I can drag this arrow in to round out the corners and that's going to give it a nice shape that's what we want so um, that's going to be our top handle so we're going to hit OK and all we have to do now is we have to come back to our planes and if you remember we we actually um, created our flange from the center plane from the center line that's the XZ plane so all I have to do is I have to come to create come to mirror and I'm going to click on, instead of faces, I'm going to select bodies, and I'm going to select this body. And under mirror plane, what I want to do is I want to select the XZ. And that's going to, that's going to kind of set that on the other side. So that's our handle. And that is our spatula. All we need now are the two rivets that go in these holes and the two rivets that actually hold the handle to the rest of it. And that is pretty much it. Let's see it with uh, just shaded. Very nice. Uh, thanks for watching. And let me know if there are any tutorials you want to see in the future or if you have any suggestions to make this part even better. Thank you.